My number one worry was spinning it into a tree. Second to that, fueled by a quarter century's collective bench racer wisdom on the Viper, was the fear that the car would be a shoddily whacked together animal, no brains, all muscle. And sure, the brake pedal of this 1993 Viper is so much higher than its accelerator that heel towing the thing would require some sort of quadruple ankle joint. The dashboard could only have been conceived with the help of the Fisher Price design team. And your long of torso, 5 foot, 11 inch correspondent found the windshield top frame exactly at eye level, precluding use of the Dodge's bikini top. Exactly none of that matters. The RT-10, displayed as a concept in 1989 and fast-tracked into production for 1992, is fundamentally a first-generation Mazda Miata designed by a brass band's worth of star-spangled idiots. Every input is rewarded with a predictable output. The Dodge's six-speed shifter snaps into position with welcome precision. Its steering exhibits a magnificence that no modern car can touch, the steering wheel, with no airbag, speed reads tarmac braille and spits the translation directly into your hands. Brake feel could be generously described as wooden, but the binders never lack for power, and the modern Michelin Pilot Sport PS2 rubber fitted to later stock size wheels on our test car help bring the proceedings to a quick halt.